Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be having my first favorites video. Are you guys ready for this? I am. Um, it is my first favorites video here on my channel. Super excited. Yes, I finally jumped on the bandwagon to um, do a favorites video because I know everybody and their moms has a favorites video up. And I am jumping late on this, but um, I am super excited to share with you guys because I have been wearing makeup mostly every day just because um, I practice every day and I like to go out with makeup on sometimes. Um, I'm going to show you guys my favorites for January. Super excited. I think I will be getting this up on time. And... Um, just, I have a couple of things, not so many, so I hope you guys enjoy this and keep watching if you want to see my favorites and let me know what your favorites are down in the comments bar. Okay guys, so we're going to start as, um, kind of in like the order I put it on my face. This is just the way I put my makeup on my face. I start with my eyebrows. So I will be starting with my, it's a new favorite, um, Mostly it's a favorite because I don't have my Holy Grail eyebrow product, which is the Anastasia Pomade. Um, I have one and it is a different color because I dyed my hair. So I had to, um, I live far away from a mall. So I have to, I just got whatever I had um, at Walmart, whatever I found. And I actually found a pretty decent kind of like a dupe. Um, it's not exactly alike. It's not that creamy but I think you can definitely work with it for it to actually do what you need um, it does the same thing as the Anastasia one it's just a different formula of course but um, I love it the same I'm actually um, I actually right now I don't think I need the dip brow from Anastasia yet like I'm good I think I am kind of working with it um, just to see if I really like it and actually it's my favorite, so I think I like it. It is the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. And here it is. It's kind of the same container as Anastasia, a little bit smaller. Um, it is less product, I believe. I think um, it's 11 ounces. I don't know how much the Anastasia is, but I think it's less because it is a smaller little um, tub of pomade but I love it I it is what I'm wearing on my eyebrows right now and I think it is a good dupe for Anastasia in case you're on a budget this is only like five dollars and it comes with a really great brush um, so definitely pick this up at Walmart or any of your drugstores if you see this um, and you want to find like an alternative to use maybe every day if you don't want to use the expensive one um, this is certainly a good pomade so check this out so after my eyebrows I do my eyes of course um, I don't like doing my face like my foundation because I get fallout and I don't like fallout on my foundation so I do my eyes first and then foundation that way if there's any fallout I'm able to just take it off so I'm gonna start with my primer which is Holy Grail, I think maybe because I haven't used another one besides some drugstore brands, but um, I'm going to be dabbing into more of, uh, I guess, more of the high-end primers um, for your eyes. Let me know if there's one that you really like, um, so I can definitely pick it up. I've tried the Urban Decay ones, and I just don't like them, um, but the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, this is my favorite. It's been my favorite for longer than January. Um, but, um, absolutely love it. I had a small one. If you guys see my older videos, I had a smaller one, which was just a sample size. And, um, I finally decided to pick this up last month and it is amazing. And the packaging is so cute. It's a new and improved, um, baby blue color. Super pretty. Too Faced never disappoints. And it is just, it is just beautiful. It, it helps it is kind of like a just a peachy color and um, it just works wonders I have slept with my makeup I know it's bad but 
I did and it lasted me till the next day so I definitely I know that's not a very good um, kind of like thing to tell y'all but I mean if it lasts through the night me tossing and turning I think it'll last all day so definitely pick this up or at least a sample size because um, so you can try it out for yourself and okay so after I do my eyeshadow and then this has been my favorite. I got it when I got my shadow insurance. I made an order to Too Faced. Um, they were having a 20% off sale um, in December, so I was super excited to get this. And um, I got a Too Faced chocolate bar. Super late, I know. It's, um, I think it's been out for forever, but I just had to get it. And um, a quick story. I had this palette. I picked it up. I want to say four months ago I want to say and I picked this up and I definitely I thought I was gonna love it and the smell got to me the smell made me made my head hurt and I don't know maybe I was just having a bad day and I was already having a headache and this just made it worse but the chocolate smell made my head kill me I was dying I think it was it's been more than four months. It was in 4th of July. It's been six months. It was 4th of July, I remember. And it killed my, like, it just killed me. So I returned it, and I got something else. Like, I'm a money back. I got something else. I was like, nope, never going to buy this again. Hate it. Hate Too Faced. Why did they have to put chocolate in it? Like, it was horrible. So in December, I know they came out with the bonbons palette, which I have. And... Um, I was like, if I'm going to buy the bonbons, I need to buy this. I'm getting bonbons because it is one of the, it, it was new, so I wanted um, to try it out. And I was like, you know what, I have to have the chocolate bar because it is the original, so let me try it. So I was like, I'm going to buy it and hopefully this time it goes out well because I only tried it once and I returned it. So I didn't give it another chance. So hopefully, um, I was like, hopefully the next time works. And yes this is definitely my go-to palette every day um mostly because of this color white chocolate this white chocolate right here it is just a beautiful just cream color this color i use it to um set my primer my eye primer um and it just gives you like a blank canvas on your eyes and lets you do whatever magic you do with your makeup on your eyes so definitely definitely that color is my favorite and cherry cordial cordial um if we're talking about a gold this one creme brulee this um champagne truffle for your highlight for your brow bone it is just amazing if you don't have it if you are thinking about getting it Definitely, definitely pick this up. Um, I know a lot of people always have like a decision to make beside between the Too Faced and Urban Decay palettes, and I definitely just I think Too Faced is the one to go to. Um, Urban Decay has disappointed me too many times to even have any other palettes. I only have one, and it just it's a disappointment. So Too Faced, I got your back. This is. They got your back. When you, whatever you need, whatever color you want, it's in here. Um, so definitely, definitely pick this up if you are thinking about getting one. This is a perfect beginner's palette. It has every color you need. It has neutrals, a pop of color with that purple. It is just gorgeous. And it has this big mirror, which I still have the plastic on. This big mirror here. And um, it's just beautiful. So definitely pick this up if you are thinking about it don't think about it no more <laughs> and um <coughs> my i have another palette that i am gonna be um not all the eyeshadows i'm gonna be telling you what eyeshadows but they are my makeup geek um eyeshadows that i got also for christmas and i want to say i'm gonna tell you guys they are all beautiful but these are my favorites I believe this is Coco Bear. Coco Bear. Um, I want to say Latte. Shimma Shimma. 
Oh, shimmer, shimmer. This one's shimmer, shimmer. This one is Voltage and Bitten. All these, oh, I want to say, yeah. Bada Bing and Corrupt. Favorites. Favorites eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. I don't have any other ones, so <laughs> I need to get some more. But those are my favorites for this month. I've been using them every day with my Too Faced. Um, that Bitten color, I love a good... Um, maroonish color reddish color la 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 love it so definitely pick it up pick bitten up and coco bear if you have to choose between two coco bear and bitten you will love it love it Oops, for what else for my eyes eyeliner <laughs> this is an oldie but a goodie um i know a lot of people still rave about it and it is the nyc liquid liner you can't see the letters on mine. It's super old already and I use it every day. Um, <coughs> this is perfect for beginners. And if you don't want to even spend a lot, you don't have to. It is $3, I think. Um, it is definitely under $5. Um, pick this up. It is perfect. It helps you with your wing. It is just so, so good. So that is what I use for eyeliner. Um, I was trying the e.l.f. Um, gel liner and I was not liking it, so... Went back to my NYC and definitely pick it up. So, um, mascara. I am in love with the L'Oreal Voluminous, but I ran out. I don't have one with me, and that one is, is awesome from the drugstore. That is my favorite all time. It makes my eyelashes just go bam. Um, but right now, my favorite. Too Faced, better than sex. Who? Oh, can we just say hallelujah hallelujah this Too Faced did such a great job oh Too Faced did such a great job with this mascara it is just look at it it is beautiful it's beautiful um I don't know maybe because it's pink but I love it Too Faced better than sex it is just amazing if you can see that wand it is an hourglass wand um, it is just my favorite. It makes my eyelashes just also just go BAM and I really really like it. Let me know if any of you guys have had any problems with it because I have heard a couple of girls say that it flakes on them. It doesn't really flake on me so I don't know but let me know what y'all you guys know. So now eyelashes. Definitely I picked them up in the middle of the month but they have to be in my favorites. I have to talk about them and I found this. These eyelashes, um, because of Nicole Guerrero, 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 here on YouTube, and she raved about them, and um, they are the Salon Perfects 615s. I think she said 614s and 615s, I believe. They are amazing, just like she said. Um, I am wearing them right now. They just give you that drama, but not too dramatic. Like, they're not that long, and they're not so, like, packed on it's not it's just they're just perfect um i don't think it's a natural lash but it's not so much of a dramatic one either so it is just perfect you guys should check it out um they are always sold out and it says blogger favorite so definitely pick them up if you see them because they do not last long um so they're awesome and they have an invisible band so i think that'll help a lot of people disguise the band if you have trouble with that and they're very flexible so they're very nice and um, I really like them so yeah and I think that's it for the eyes then I go to my face do not have a primer because I am super bad at wearing primer under my makeup yes I know a lot of people say it's bad but I just I don't know I don't know what's wrong but um, I just hadn't found a drugstore, a drugstore primer that was very good, and I was using the e.l.f. primer. I don't have it with me, but I was using the e.l.f. primer, and it was working good, but I did not have, like, a very good one, so um, I don't have a January favorites for it, but I picked one up a couple of days ago, just a sample size of the Benefit Professional. Just a sample size because I was scared that I might not like it, so... I am, right now, I am liking it. It is very good. Um, 
I just need a little bit more time to definitely just have a straight out opinion about it but um, it is very good and the packaging is cute and it was only $12 to check it out so I mean if you're on a budget or if you just want to check it out before you um, you purchase the big one because I know it's $30 for a tube that's maybe this size I'd rather pay 10 I don't know because I know I don't go through it a lot sometimes I forget my primer so it was like 10 or 12 dollars so definitely um, if if you guys are like not so sure of it pick up a sample size and or you can even ask them they probably have smaller sizes for free so um, yeah I'll let y'all know how I think about what I think about these but yeah and um, foundation I have a lot of foundations I've been using I was using um, my Maybelline fit me matte poreless something um, found out it was the wrong color and I've been wearing it for like forever and I finally looked in the mirror and it was super light so yeah I had to just go back to my Mac because um, they actually tried it on me and I think it is the closest I have in all my foundations um, but I think the one from today I think it sort of matched me what do y'all think I don't know but my Mac Pro Longwear is my January favorites foundation Ooh, it is really I don't know I'm an NC 35 it is not for every day but it does the job, so it's my favorite for this month. It did good. Hopefully, I'll give it a little break this month that's coming. But, um, yeah. And, um, face products. Kat Von D Contour Palette. Definitely pick this up. Um, I have not tried Anastasia or any other one um, besides the NYX one, which I really, really love also. But this one, I've been going to it all month, and I'm almost hitting pan on the banana shade like everybody else. And um, I use these two to contour. It's really nice, and it's super buttery and just creamy, and they are just amazing. So, um, if you are in between, I suggest, I think this one, but I still gotta try Anastasia, and then probably I'll be able to tell y'all which one exactly, but, um, yeah, pick this, pick this one up if you are looking into Kat Von D's makeup. It is very, very good, and, um, I heard they're coming out with singles of these, so we're gonna be praying for that, okay? <laughs> and... Favorite blush this month is my new e.l.f. blush palette in light. If I can open it, okay, girl, really. This palette, I'm sorry, guys. This palette is beautiful. This color, it looks like it has shimmer on it. Um, can't really see the shimmer that much on your face, so it's not bad. Um, these are just amazing colors. I don't really use this one, but these, perfect. You can mix all three, and it's a beautiful color. So, it's only $6, I think, or 3 at the store. So, pick it up. Pick it up. It is definitely worth a try. And, uh, favorite bronzer this month has been the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder and Sunny. And it looks like this. Yes, it is old. It, it is coming off. And um, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I use it just to bronze up my face. It's beautiful. And favorite highlighter of the month. I know. I think they don't even sell it anymore. I think they do sell it, but it's in a different name. It is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection um, Highlight in Hollywood Boulevard. Looks like this, kind of like zebra tiger stripes. Ah, can we just, can we just, can we just talk about that? Talk about that. I hope you guys can see it. Um, I heard it is a dupe for Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop. So if you f find it, pick it up. It is less than $5. Definitely, definitely worth to have in your collection. 
Um, if you are a makeup hoarder like me, it is definitely um, something you need to pick up because it is not that expensive. But I believe they switched names. I think it is called Strawberry Short or Short short something and it doesn't say Fergie anymore but um it looks just like this so <clears throat> who I forgot my favorite primer of the month uh, I mean concealer <laughs> sorry guys it is my Maybelline master conceal um I need a new one as you can see but also because I think it is way too light for me. I think I need a darker shade. Um, I am barely understanding my skin tone and how some things are just way too light for me. I thought it was brightening my eyes, but they are just too bright. So I need to pick another one up, but definitely this one and my NYC HD ones. Um, they are also too light for me, but I will be picking some new ones up soon. Let me know which ones you like um, so I can give them a try. And um, yeah, those are my favorite concealers. And what else? I'm going to say this. The Airspun. Uh, what's the brand? I think it's Airspun. Yeah. The Airspun loose face powder. <laughs> loose face powder and um, translucent. It is awesome for baking your eyes, for baking your under eyes, and um, to sharpen up your contour. It is awesome, um, and it is only like $6 at your local Walmart. So definitely pick this up if you find it. If you want to get into that baking, you want to learn, it's great for beginners because it is super inexp inexpensive. So pick it up, and it smells awesome. Makes your face smell like, I don't know, it just smells really good. <laughs> but yeah, and... What else? Okay, I have, I don't, I think, I think that's it for like, no, lipsticks. <sighs> Favorite lipsticks of the month. They are my new ColourPop liquid lipsticks. These are awesome. The price, $6 for liquid lipsticks is super inexpensive. And um, they are just my favorite. And the two that are my favorite right now is Clueless and Stingray. Um, beautiful colors and I can actually pull off pull them off because I'm having a hard time pulling off the liquid lipsticks from Colourpop. I am still getting into them. Um, there's a ton that I bought, well like 12 that I bought, and I still haven't used all of them so I'm trying to get more into them. Um, but yeah, pick these up. Just make sure you use a very good lip balm before um, or a lip mask or anything like that and they'll work out for you guys. So check those out. And eyelash glue my duo favorite for the month love it love it okay and i think this is the last thing cross your fingers i think it is the last nope i have two more things but anyways these are my favorite brushes i thought i would share with you guys super affordable brushes you can pick them up at your local walmart drugstore anywhere um these are Oh, these are my Real Techniques brushes, my Holy Grail new br brushes that I got last month, and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. The This one is the buffing brush that I use for my foundation. I am not using it right now, so it is a little bit cleaner because I washed it. Um, but it is amazing, and um, definitely pick this up for your foundation. It's very nice and it's very dense, so... Definitely pick this up. And the contour brush. I do not use it to contour. I think it's way weird for that. But um, I use it to set my under eyes for my banana powder or my baking powder. It is just perfect for that. I love it. Um, and the purple deluxe crease brush. This brush is amazing with that white chocolate color from Too Faced. Perfect. I set my um, eye primer with it and it's just amazing. So pick it up if you can. Whoa. Pick it up if you can. It is amazing. Um, you'll not regret it. And 
think now I have the last thing. Yes, I think it's the last thing. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, at my local store, my local um, grocery store, which if you're in Texas, you know, of H-E-B, and um, if you are not from Texas, um, H-E-B is kind of like our, I believe you guys have like Publix or Major, something like that. I've seen it out um, in other states, but H-E-B is like our grocery store, and um, they had uh, wipes for your face, makeup wipes, and they were a dollar. They were awesome. It was only like 40 for a dollar, but they were amazing. And they just got new ones. They burn your face. AGB. You gotta switch them. Okay? Go back to the Onyx ones. Switch whatever you got. They suck. Okay? You need new ones. So, I had to just go to my Walmart and find some new ones because I could not take off my makeup without wipes. I hate having to scrub my face when I have a lot of makeup on. So... I picked up the Equate Beauty um, Sensitive Skin Makeup Wipes. They are Equate. I think it's like a Walmart brand. Um, they are compared to Olay Sensitive Wet Cleansing Towelettes. And yeah, they are really, really nice. I also have the Refreshing Equate one. It's the same brand. They're just green. They're different. Um, they both come with 40 and they cost the same. They're about five or six dollars. Uh, no, four dollars, I think. Four dollars. These smell like cucumbers, so amazing. And um, these are compared to the Garnier Refreshing Remover Cleansing Towelettes. So, if you need a, um, a quick towelet, quick makeup remover, this is awesome. Um, you only need like one or two to take off your makeup. I know the dollar ones, I would have to use like five because they are very thin. But these are super, it's new. These are super moisturize, moisturizing and they are just, they have a lot of, of the makeup remover solution. And they are just very, very nice. So definitely pick these up if you find them. And um, let me know if you guys enjoyed them. And it just fell. Okay guys, so that is it for my January favorites. I hope this video wasn't too long. I feel like I have been rambling on and on and on for forever. But um, let me know what your favorites are and um, down in the comments bar or tag me anywhere you want. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, anywhere. And let me know what you guys think. And um, I will see y'all in my next video. I have a very awesome Valentine's Day look on the look I'm wearing today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time.